Hey guys, this is a haul video, yay! So, I actually cleaned my desk, like, for the first time in ever. I never imagined I'd see the day where I'd actually clean my desk, but who would have known? I cleaned it for this video, so I don't want to waste too much time in this video, so let's get started. So, the, my favourite item that I got in this haul is Copix. It's just small, though. I got a set of five, and it, it's the skin tones, and it can contains E43, V91, R20, R00, E00, and a fine liner, which is 0.03. So yeah, these are really cool. They have brush, they're the brush ones, and they're chow. And I got them on special offer for 19.95, which is okay, but you can get them on Amazon for like a set of five for 10 pounds, 11 pounds. So. Yeah, and this is the chow, and I'm hoping to get a lot more of these, like a 30, two 36 sets of um, sketch, preferably because if you get two 36 sets, they're actually cheaper than a 72 set, so I thought I'd just go for 36. And also you have two pieces of packaging, so you know, you can switch them around and stuff. Okay, so they're really cool, and the second thing that I got is this their fine liners the Derwent graphic line makers and this is the set of three and it and it has a really nice casing I really like it and I'll just open it oh it has octagonal barrels wait no no it doesn't that's just the lid but anyway it has it's it comes in sizes 0 0.1 0 0.3 and 0 0.5 so it has pretty good range and you can do a lot of good inking with this but this set was five pounds i believe and you can get the six set this is a three set you can get double of these for eight pounds which is good because it's going down in quite price quite a bit in the eight set you get i mean in the six set you get this 0 0.05 Point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3, point 0.5, and point 0.8. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much all I can say about these fine layers. Oh, they can be used with markers, with pencil. I'm not too sure about... Um, I'm not too sure about watercolour, but I'll test them. So, yeah. Oh, that's a blur. Okay. So, I'll just close these. Oh, this is in there. There we go. So the next thing that I want to show you, oh, I just got these today from a family member, but they're not big, but they're just a ruler and a rubber because I needed one, so, yeah. And this rubber's pretty cool. So, the next thing that I would like to show you, which is quite very big, it's the Prismacolor Premier 72 set. Uh, Prismacolor color pencils. These are really nice. I really like these pencils and these are the most bright like and best blending pencils that I've ever used because I've, I've also used um, the Lyra brand and I've everyone's used Crayola and like Pren and that and then there's like Prismacolor Scholar there's also Derwent but these are the brightest and the most wonderful at blending so I really like these you can get loads of sets, there's, well anyway, I painstakingly ordered these, I, was, I just even made like a chart to see where the colours go, what, what I should do, oh, painstaking, it took me an, about an hour, but yeah, there's three sets, there's lots of greys, nice skin tones, so yeah, and yeah, this, these leads are more waxy than average, so you can't really rub it out very well at all, but they have made a rubber for this, so I have to purchase that. And also a colourless blender. And this is the 72 set. There's there's like a there's a 8 set, a 10 set, a 12 set, an 18 set, I think. A 12 set, I'm not sure. And there's um a 36 set, a 72. There's a 120 set, there's a hundred and 36 set and there's 150 set. 150 is the whole colour range. And this is the colour range that it has in this one. So, 
oh my goodness just the shininess is just really bad with the lighting okay so yeah so I'm really happy with these color pencils so yeah they're really good so the next item I've got two of they're different first of all I have sorry for the noise I have an A4 sketch pad which is really cool and the paper is so thick I'll just show you one page which I used the Prismacolor Premier on as well just the first one I've just colored and it lays on really nicely like with this picture that like the color lays on really nicely and it has a bit of tooth not too much it's quite good it can be used by markers but you have to put something under it because when you put the marker on it will blend and stuff really well but it will go through the paper the blending ability of it is amazing though so I just keep a plastic like I can't describe it, a plastic board underneath it I just did describe it okay so yeah um, and the paper's really thick you get about 80 sheets I think it was and this was like £5.50 it's really really good I really like it so this is going to be my main sketchbook and I might do a sketchbook update when I finish the whole book but that'll be quite a while okay so the next sort of sketchbook I sorry I just had a really annoying disturbance there my battery died so yeah but anyway about this paper it's art London and it has 25 sheets in and it's 120 GSM so it's kind of thick it's not really but it's, it does have quite a bit of texture to it so it's quite it's, it's smooth but it does have a bit of texture and it's suitable for pen pencil like you can I've tried these on it you can use the fine liners on it like any fine liner and it's you can also use pencil obviously charcoal and oil pastels they work really well on it so it's a good sketch pad for on the go because it's A5 you can just put it in your bag or whatever you have just take it out grab a pencil you know if you want to sketch and then yeah it's just good and I got it for £2.75 so that's pretty good and then the last thing which is very important I have an art tablet, a graphics tablet, so it's really cool. This is the case, by the way, this isn't like the size of how much you can draw by. You can draw the whole thing. I'll just take this off. Okay. So this, this is the pen. This is the grab button to like grab things. This, I don't know what this button is used for. This is the rubber, so it's a shortcut. You don't have to click on the rubber. Um, and this pen is pretty nice. And this is just for me to start up using graphics tablet and like Photoshop and paint tool size. So yeah. And I don't know what these two buttons are for. I've never used them. But yeah, it's a really nice pad. So yeah, and it has the USB lead and it's quite long, so that's good. And I don't know how much that cost this costed actually, but it's Wacom, so yeah, I think that is the end of the whole video, so. Thanks for watching guys, bye!